LV back. I hope everyone had a good Halloween, good weekend. Today I have a DC Sports pickup video plus a little mail day. Let's just go ahead and get right into it because I'm really excited to see this card in particular. So it is a Freddie Freeman card that will go into my PC. I bought it midway through the World Series when he was dominating and it was looking like he was going to be the MVP, which it turned out he was. And thankfully, I got a one of the good sellers that actually shipped the card. I was worried. It went to the dreaded shipping level <laughs> shipping label created for like three days and I was going to message the seller and say, hey, have you dropped it off? I was worried he wasn't going to send it. You know, when a player performs really well and you buy the card at a good time, and they don't end up sending it because it's gone up in value so much. But it worked out, numbered out of 25, 2007. One of the first Freddie Freeman cards. It's the Sterling Black Refractor. He had a buy it now of 400 on it. And I made an offer, I think around 300, and he accepted. So $300 for this card. I think it's a steal. I really do. You're just not going to see this. And it is a BGS gem mint. You know, I don't like BGS, but but still. Got a nine on centering. It looks like thicker on the left than the right, but I don't know. Maybe one day I'll crack it out and send to PSA. But for now, it's a PC, PC card, so I don't really mind what slab it is. So there you go. $300 for this Freddie Freeman MVP, World Series MVP. Future Hall of Famer. What a career. And overall, good guy. All right, let's get into some DC Sports. I got some large orders, some fun cards as usual. And you know the drill. Go through them, tell you what I paid. Let's see which ones are gradable. Wow, look at that. This is gonna be fun. Um, I think there's like 80 cards. I'm gonna have to message them and ask to refund one of my shippings because you know, you can only really buy 40 cards per order, which is what I do. But they went ahead and just combined it, combined ship, and still charged me both shipping fees. So uh, they're, they're always good. Their customer service is pretty, pretty good. So they will refund me back if I message them, I assume, for one of the shipping fees. Okay, let's just go ahead and do the SGC card. So... This Kawhi Leonard 2012, it is this rookie, totally certified. It was only $8, $8 for a 9.5. Yeah, it's hard to argue, but <laughs> SGC slabs do sell for less. Um, but I'll take it. $8 for that. Let's go ahead and do the slabs first. Yeah, I do buy slabs if they're good deals, no question. Way off center, wow. I'm surprised this one got a 9. Vince Carter um, got it for $26 for his top Chrome rookie. He has a nice following, nice image. Look at that dunk, look how high he is. Incredible. So, Vince Carter rookie, 26 bucks. Got another SGC. It was only $5 for Kenny Anderson. It's the UD Black Diamond Gold at a 500. You know, not a very valuable card, but it's slabbed up. I thought it looked nice in the tux. So, 5 bucks for the Mint 9. The Sepia, Ryan Tannehill out of 99. I really thought a team would pick him up with some of the QB injuries. Um, this was $11 for the SGC 9. Overall, pretty decent career, I'd say. This one I splurged on. I actually have not owned a authentic manufactured released Charles Barkley Auto. So this is my first one, so I paid up a little bit. I do not care for Arena Club grading, so I will probably snap it out and send to PSA. Yep, that's a good sign. It's the white back corners and edges, so I think it should gem. Yeah, they give it a 10 with the 10 auto, which is nice. Uh, numbered out 25. Hoops Inc. paid 112, I believe. But, you know, if this gems up with PSA, I can see that being a $250 card. A steal on the Russell Wilson, $36, maybe $34 for this X-Fractor. You know, he could be comeback player of the year. He's playing pretty well for the Steelers, so I, there's no way this should be that cheap. Imagine this card in the COVID. 
probably gonna hear me say that a lot in this order. Yeah, like 34 bucks for this for a mint nine. I will take it. X Fractor 2012 Chrome Rookie. What we got? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Sandlot. You know, it's my, one of my favorite sports movies. And this, these, this year, 2018 Archives. They made all the characters. It's a really cool set, but uh, they're always condition sensitive, just like the original 1962 top set. Um, but this is only six dollars. I am a buyer for sure. Here's another one. Timmy Timmons. This one's an actual certified auto on card. Very cool. 25 bucks, 26 bucks for the Mint 9. Oh, talk about this card. It's way down in value. Jamal Murray. You know, his stuff is always low to start the season. But then the Nuggets, what do they do? They always heat up. They play well going into the playoffs. And they play well in the playoffs. Because they got Joker and they got Jamal Murray. These guys are finishers. So it's a good time to buy these guys in the uh, early season. $40 for the Mint 9 Silver. COVID, this was probably $500. <laughs> Same with this one. I, this was legit, probably a $300 card during COVID. I got it for $17 for the Gem 10 Prism, just the basic Prism. $17 for Gem 10. I'm okay. I'm a buyer there. All right, let's do some of the fun looking raw cards what are we gonna open with let's do the dwight howard i want to see that i know he's not a very likable guy get a little weird but can't deny he was a pretty good basketball player and his cards are so low right now and i think he will be a future hall of famer 249 out of 249 this is 2004 finest rookie 15 dollars and it looks potentially gradable. You never know. Let's let's see later. Carlos Boozer, nice aerial view. I like that. Aaron the listing didn't say black refractor. Didn't say number ninety nine. I knew it was. Beautiful card, six bucks. Got the John Randall. He was a beast. This was fourteen dollars, I believe. Number out twenty five. Looked like it's a potential gradable card, which is what I liked. I went off card stock and you know the white back. Oh, the Rasta Monster. I like this year of Sign of the Times. It's probably my favorite because I like the die cut and I like how they had all on-card auto. And I like how the autos were kind of this vertical horizontal look to it. I don't know how I want to describe it, but it was, it was one of my favorites. So $5 on the Rasta Monster. Plus he was a blazer. Fan of that. We got Zarco. This was only $2.50 for a gold numbered out of 99 pristine auto 250 there only a buck on the jamal anderson he had some good years refractor on that and we got a refractor on the shannon sharp it's like a buck 50 on the hidden gems kind of a cool looking card um we got torian prince he is no longer on the lakers number out of 10 it was only two dollars usually buy any number card out of 10 for two dollars if it's licensed and basketball and everything so DeAndre Hopkins. People love the stained glass look. It's like a buck twenty-five. Cool card. Kirk Cousins playing well for the Falcons. Number at two forty-nine was only a buck fifty. Mo Bamba. This should be numbered at a fifty. There it is. Two or three bucks on the auto. I really like. You've heard me say this. I guess I just really like the old school retro Bucks unis. <laughs> I just think they look great in cards. So, Gold Refractor is Josh Freeman, but he was fun for a while. He really was. $3, $3.50 on that, number out of 50. Mark Andrews, Ravens are having an incredible year. He's a big part of it. He's a nice blocking tight end. Number out of 25 is only 14 bucks. I think this is a steal. Andy Dalton, Gold Refractor. You know, Bryce Young's back at it for the Panthers, but I don't know. He's an okay backup. Still, he had a long career. $7, numbered out of 50, gold refractor. We got Bill Sharman, numbered out of 99, white refractor was five bucks. Mark Andrews was only a buck. Again, I think it's a steal to pick up Mark Andrews cards for so cheap. He's one of the best tight ends in the league overall for what he brings to the position. So a buck for the silver select. Dorsey Levens, he was fun. Uh, it was only $3. It's just a cool-looking card for $3. Uh, 
We're at 75, Dallas Goddard. Uh, you know, I th he may be injured right now, but still, number that 99 was only a buck 50, I believe. Brett Favre was only a buck 52 bucks for number that 199. We got Jimmy Smith, nice bold auto, nice looking auto too, four dollars on that one. Uh, the Yusuf Nurkic, he, I was a fan of when he was on the Blazers, um, but he's on the Suns now. He's doing pretty well. There was an error in the listing. They called him Yosef Merkic. So I knew I was going to get it for a steal. $5. Five or six bucks. And we're at 35. Letterman. Stefan Diggs. I know he had the big injury for the rest of the year, but a buck 50. Number at 99. Elton Brand. White Refractor. These are cool looking cards. Number at 99. This was $5. This is a big order. It's a monster. <laughs> I'll keep going. I'll try to go fast. Ronald Jones, Sam Darnold was only like five bucks, four bucks maybe. Number out of 99, the rookie year. More Sam Darnold. The Vikings are playing pretty well. Numbered out of 10 is like six bucks. Not his rookie year, but 2019, I believe. This is his rookie year. Numbered out of 199. This was five or six bucks. Tyler Hero. He's playing pretty well for the Heat. This was 16, 15 bucks. Numbered out of 88. Imagine that during the pandemic, how much that went on up to. I like the color match. The red with Miami. Color match on the Andy Dalton was only a buck with the orange refractor rookie. 2011 Tops Chrome. Derek Anderson. What's fun about him is he played for the Beavers, Beavers, Oregon State Beavers, and I collect duck stuff and beaver stuff, but he actually lives in my hometown now, I believe, of Salem, Oregon, when I lived there. Uh, number 199. He was a pro bowler. One year. It was only a buck. <laughs> this is Stephen Curry. Steph Curry, Express Lane Hollow was a buck or two. I think it's two bucks. Uh, Shining Stars was a buck or two on this one, too. Nice looking card. The Robin Yaunt Archives. I like how it's the refractor, you know, obviously a replica, but I like how they made it. And refractor form was only a buck fifty. And a Paul Pierce rookie top scrum was four dollars. We got for a buck a Brett Favre numbered out of two fifty. It's Donruss Threads. We got John Schaefer. I don't know much about him, but it's a gold refractor out of fifty. Got it for a dollar, dollar fifty, maybe two bucks. Tom Brady optics for six bucks. The hollow. We got Wade Boggs. I thought it was a cool looking card. Look at that mustache. I didn't get over thirteen hundred walks without knowing the strike zone. Authentic game used bat. Three dollars. Thought it was a cool card. Um, Vladimir, this was a buck fifty, I believe. I'll have one of everything for the cycle on a buck fifty on the Richard Jefferson Booyah. We, this is a huge order. Wow, this is a fun card. Jay Williams, great college career. Uh, it's his rookie year 2002, and it's numbered out of 100. It's the platinum. There it is. Three dollars. Big Z was only like a buck for a number out of 100 gold SP. Matt Ryan was a buck for the color match red out of 99 select. Sam Darnold was only a buck, buck 50 on the rookie introduction. They're all prism. They don't even make the flat version. Um, LeBron James hyped was like three bucks for the green. Eric Dickerson, really cool card. Air in the listing by DC Sports. They did not list auto autograph at all, at all. And I knew it was. Nice, bold, on-card autograph, plus you can tell by the back. So $15 on this card. I love that deal. Marshawn was 2 bucks for the camo refractor. 3 bucks on the DeAndre Hopkins. Going to be fun watching him down the stretch with Mahomes. $3. Uh, Fountain. I don't know much about him, but it was a camo refractor out of 25 Auto. Prism for $1.50. Clarence Weatherspoon out of 400 was a buck or two. Tim Duncan, there is some greening. That's okay. It looks decently centered. You can get this card. It's only $19. I just think that's a steal for uh, probably the top 10 in conversation to be a top 10 basketball player of all time. For Top Scrum Rookie for 19 bucks. Ricky Prohl, he was fun in the 90s. This is the finest refactor. What is this, 94? 94, 95, 95. There you go. Refractor. I thought this was a cool duo card. You got Obama and Abe Lincoln. I'm not sure if it's a short print, but it was a buck or two. Two bucks on the Jake Woodford. Don't know much about him, but number out of 50 gold refractor auto for a buck 50, two bucks. I'll take it. 
Uh, we got a dual Dominic Davis and Morrency and at a 50 sign of the times on card auto. Two bucks on that. JJ Watt was five bucks for the kind of color match out of 199 refractor 2014. We got Nick Claxton for three dollars. He is doing okay for the Nets. Cheryl Miller. Look at that nice auto. One of the best basketball players, women's basketball players to play the game, in my opinion. Um, you know, just wasn't born at the right time. Imagine if she was playing nowadays. She would have been just incredible. Uh, 10 bucks on that one. Isaiah Thomas was 19 bucks out of 99. I like his auto, too. 19 bucks on that one. Jordan Palmer was only a buck or two. Number 25 auto. I think it was $1.75. Geno Atkins, uh, I just love the color match. Look at that with the Bengals and the die cut. Not that Walmart, out of 249 probably, but I got it for a buck. Eric Gordon out of 24 is a buck or two. This is a very interesting card. I am intrigued by it. Number 10 out of 10, and it came with this search slab from Beckett. So I am assuming, I hope it didn't dent the card or anything in there. Uh, I'm assuming they cracked it open and for some reason just didn't submit anywhere else or notice something bad or damaged it in the cracking. Either way, we're gonna find out. I think I got a great deal on it as long as it's in least mint condition. I got it for $89 for a gold press proof Jalen Brown rookie. Uh, I'm intrigued by that card for sure. Uh, Louis Vaught, only a buck for the refractor. Chris Jones, $14 on the hollow optic rookie. He'll be a future Hall of Famer. And he plays for the Chiefs, obviously. Giannis Green, Color match with the Bucks was only a buck or two. DeAndre Hopkins kind of color match there. Must be numbered out of 199. Was only a buck or two. Ray Jackson, signature rookies, only a dollar. If you guys don't know who Ray Jackson is, look him up. He's part of the Fab Five. You know, with Weber and Howard and Rose. Just fun players there. He's part of it. He's a big part of that Michigan team. Only a buck for the Ray Jackson. Only a buck on the Rashawn Holmes, numbered at 199. This awesome looking patch of Julio Jones, future Hall of Famer, was $9, numbered out of 25, 49. And uh, if we're going to finish on this order with the Yormon, uh, look at that awesome patch. Logo or tag patch, majestic. $3. Cool card. I know he probably didn't pan out, but $3 for that awesome looking logo patch. Okay, that was one order. Let's sh shut off the camera and see what we're working with. All right, here are their stacks. I'd say about 60, 40, 60 good, gradable, 40% ungradable. Uh, I'm very happy with that. You know, anything over 50, I'm happy with. This is more urgent stack. I think this Eric Dickerson looked amazing. It looked like a mint nine to me, and I think that's definitely worth grading. It looked great slabbed up. The Tim Duncan, depending how harsh they are on the greening, I, I think it's a very gradable card. It looked like a mint nine. Um, Isaiah Thomas, potential 10. The hollow Tom Brady looked like a 10. The Dwight looked like a 10. The Randall looked like a 10. The Andrews looked like a 9. The Andy Dalton looked like a 10. And the Tyler Hero looked like a 10. It must have been pulled recently because this card would have been graded during the COVID boom. So it looked gem. Beautiful card. And these cards, I just wanted to show you, they're around at least mint 9. So consider them gradable. Some will grade down the road. The Boggs look good. All these... I won't go over each one. This video would be forever. I'm excited about the Ricky Pearl. A little off center, top to bottom, but not too bad. Uh, yeah, all of these potential grading. The Rasta Monster looks like a nine. How cool is that? Beautiful. Love the look. That brand looked amazing. The Darnolds look good. The Currys look good. There you go. I'm very happy with all those. These ones, just ungradable, you know, how most of these go. The, none of them were terrible. That one had brutal surface scratches. I was upset about it, Chris Jones. Um, but most of it's just thick card wear or surface scratches. Nurkic looked pretty good, just thick card wear. And uh, this is the one I wanted to talk about. So this is the one with the slab at important card i really wish it would have been in better condition let's let's take it out I, I don't think this card was even associated to this slab or they cracked it and then just hammered it i i, I don't know um you got little marks right around here 
You have corner wear here, little wrinkles, ripples here. You got some corner wear there. I could do this to such a beautiful card. It still presents well. Uh, so, and the back looked okay. Maybe a few marks, but not terrible. Anyway, so you ask what I'm going to do with this card. I'm going to authenticate it. I'll probably just slab it up with SGC. It'll be in a tux, and I think it'll sell okay. So this was pretty much worthless. I don't know why they included it. It wasn't on DC Sports. It wasn't their fault. It's the, the people that can sign their cards. They put it in the hard case, and DC Sports, they just take pictures of whatever's in the hard case. So uh, the customer threw this in there thinking it would help the card sell for more. Uh, it, it did help. I, I you know, Unfortunately, I thought, yeah, maybe it was at least a mint nine because of that, but no. It is not. So disappointed there. Uh, and then the slabs I can just sell as is or crack. I have one little smaller order. Let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, let's quickly go through this second order. It will not be as long. I need to buy a new box cutter. I know. Get back up, Charles. Yeah, not as many cards in this order, but some fun ones. I think there's a LeBron Tops rookie in here, too. A little off center, but worth the price point. Okay, we're actually going to start with a Philip Rivers. I think he'll get in the hall eventually. Uh, it's his rookie Sage for sixteen dollars. Number out of five hundred. We got Sam Darnold Auto. This is forty dollars. I don't know. It's kind of a nice looking card. Not too bad for forty bucks. You know how well the Vikings are playing. Here's the LeBron. So yeah, off center, top to bottom. I'm hoping it's clean other than that because I think it can squeeze an eight. I'll be very happy if this just card grades an 8. I got it for 160 I think this is a valuable card for the foreseeable future. <laughs> uh, Donovan McNabb this is a cool looking card. Black Refractor out of 99 for $6. 5 or 6 bucks on the McNabb. I love the way these kaleidoscopes look. Especially the kind of disco ball look. 6 bucks on it? 5 or 6 bucks on that one? Lane Johnson, Refractor, Future Hall of Famer, uh, rookie, 2013, Topps Chrome, that's three or four bucks, Le'Veon Bell was only like a buck out of 99, he was good for a while, Manti Teo, out of 75, I've been watching him on the NFL Network, he's pretty well spoken, this is only a buck or two, Vance McDonald, out of 10, it's five dollars, kind of a cool looking card, five bucks for that one, I know he didn't pan out, but this is a cool duo card, Optic, we got Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup. So great for a Rams fan. And the Rams are playing pretty well. It's only a buck fifty, I believe, out of seventy-five. Probably three dollars on the City Edition LeBron Mosaic Green. Aiton was probably two bucks on the Silver. LeBron James is around three dollars on this Mosaic. And uh, this was only a buck. No one bid on it. I don't know. It's a dual card of Anthony Davis and LeBron James, two best Lakers right now. A buck on that, and probably two or three bucks on the give and go LeBron James prism, and about three bucks on this select hollow prism. Greg Vaughn refractor at a four ninety nine was only a dollar. We got a Kevin Green was like two bucks on the hidden gems refractor. Marvin Harrison platinum out of a hundred. It was like a buck fifty. It's really low numbered for a Hall of Famer. For a good deal. Terrell Brandon, I'm a fan of his. Uh, this was only like a buck fifty, I believe. Refractor, nineteen ninety seven finest probably. Marbury, ninety seven. Bowman's best was three dollars. You can already see the refractor line, can't you? Three dollars on that. Mitch Richmond was only two bucks. I'm excited about this. Doesn't look like much greening either. And look how centered, like two fifty on that maybe. Two bucks. A buck on this Andre Miller. I liked watching Andre Miller play. He's the old man game. Out of three hundred. He played for the Blazers for a while. I liked him watching him. Tom Brady was like two bucks on this older card. Is it 2002? Yeah, 2002. Two bucks on that. RJ Barrett, Case Scuff, $11 on the Celestial. I like the look of the Celestials. Number out of 99. This is rookie year. $11. Uh, that was it. Okay. Let's quickly shut off the camera and just see which ones are gradable. All right, here they are in the stack. Solid order. I'd say 75, 80% were gradable, which is great. Just nothing huge, but I'm very happy with the urgent stack i will show you 
Darnold looked like a 10. And I think the LeBron's going to squeak out an 8. I know it's off center, but sharp other than one little uh, factory dimple. So I think we can squeeze an 8 there. The Donovan McMahon, I just like the card, so I'm going to grade it. It looked like a gem 10. And the Kaleidoscopic LeBron looked like a 10. I'm really excited about that card. So those are my urgent stacks. And then these ones I can grade down the road. If I so choose, they all look like mint 9s or better. So I'm happy with that. Look at all of them. They look great. That one probably an 8, but I don't know. I still like it. The Richmond looked like a 9. Um, we knew this one wasn't going to be gradable. Big uh, corner wear there. Surface scratches all over on the Lane Johnson. This one's close. I think it'd grade an 8. It's not bad. Uh, and then the Tom Brady had this weird kind of ink right here. Other than that, it looked pretty good. Uh, and I can just sell the Barrett. And that is the video. Thanks for, if you're still watching, then you are a true fan of my channel. And I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you found it entertaining. And I'll be back with a reveal. Should be back Friday, uh, per usual. And uh, I have some in assembly just waiting to pop. They might have popped while I film this, hopefully. I'm going to go check for the 100th time today. Okay, thanks for watching.